I wanted to quickly share something I learned about the Angular CLI. So anytime you run the command ng build, it's going to use Webpack in the background to compile all your sources and include all your various files for your project. Um, and this is great, and it gets the settings for what to do with Webpack based on your Angular CLI.json file. But if you ever needed to make any customizations to Webpack, or if you just wanted to see what was, was happening behind the scenes, you can use the command ng eject. And this is going to spit out a webpack.config file, which you can go look at. And it's going to give you these warnings saying, hey, you, you ejected uh, the webpack configuration. You can no longer use the ng command, uh, ng build command to, to build your sources. Um, so here it is. The webpack.config goes into the app folder. And you can uh, look at it and see it's, it's pretty complicated what it's doing. It was much simpler just looking at the Angular CLI.json file. But now you have complete control over what's going on in webpack. Um, but so this warning is telling us that we can't use ng-build. In fact, if you try ng-build, it's going to give you a warning. So if you want to get back to using ng-build, all you have to do is go to your Angular CLI.json file, and there's this new property, which is ejected is set to true. So if you just delete this, you can uh, save the, the configuration file, and then you can use ng-build again. You don't have to delete the webpack.config, but it does make it a little confusing it sitting out here. Um, some people might think that that's necessary. They were just to look at the project, so I recommend deleting it. So that's all there is to it. Hope uh, this was helpful.